For three decades, politicians have been reorganizing the public service to follow private sector management models. As policy insider Donald Savoy illustrates in Whatever Happened to the Music Teacher, the experiment has been a failure. Then he takes us further, showing in up-close detail how governments make decisions and how to better organize the public sector for results. This is a book that should be on the desk of every civil servant, of every public administrator, of every cabinet minister, of every prime minister, really. It is the book about how to reorganize government. He almost lifts up the hood of government, of the public sector, and he shows us all the spinning gears and, and parts of the engine, and he shows us how to fix that engine. We grew government by leaps and bounds in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Now there's a period of s setting back and seeing, the, seeing what can be what can be useful, what is useful, and that, that part is much more difficult to manage than when you grow government. Quite frankly, I never thought of going into this book that I would have had the least bit of interest in the civil service, and in fact, the last 30 years of it. But somehow, because Donald Savoy is such an insider, he knows the subject inside out. He's got tremendous examples. He's got tremendous anecdotes, and he's a very gifted writer. I think a lot of us have sort of felt that you know, government keeps growing and, and yet the service doesn't seem to improve. We're more detached from those who deliver services than we've ever been. What on earth has happened? I think this book answers some of those questions. The public service is absolutely critical to any country. Again, show me a weak country, a weak government, and I'll show you a weak public service.